I'm Rod Weatherby. And I'm Dave Noel. You're watching Nutshell.tv. What are we doing? We're doing an Ask Science. We're doing an Ask Science today. Now, yeah. for those of you who don't know, Ask Science is a neat little forum thing on Reddit uh, where people posit science-y questions, and uh, there's actually a, quite a, a substantial scientific community that uh, sets about to answer them. Sometimes the answers are really plain English, and sometimes they get really in-depth with equations and mathematics. We're going to try to make ours plain English. Right? Yes, because I, I cannot understand mathematics okay. and hieroglyphics. So, the question uh, we're dealing with today, uh, I'm not sure who asked it, but the question was, why is my breath hot when I open my mouth wide and breathe, and why does it feel cool when I blow it out like I was uh, whistling? So, Aha! This question actually has a lot of really cool uh, physics behind it. Um, it has to do mostly with the Bernoulli effect. See? No magic. Yeah, the paper goes up when I blow. Dave is creating a low pressure system above the paper. Yep. Anyway, so if you open your mouth and breathe, you actually have like quite a large aperture, we'll say. And well, I don't know you personally, but you probably do. And that causes like a slow airflow, right? So if you if you purse your lips together like you're like you're whistling, uh, you have a much smaller aperture, and and a lot more air has to fit through this opening, so the air speeds up. Fast moving air, this dude, Italian dude named Bernoulli figured out that uh, that actually causes low pressure. What happens with low pressure is all of the other air surrounding it tries to get in to, to fill the void. So when you're blowing, you're actually taking all of the ambient air in the room, which is a lot cooler than what's inside your lungs. Your lungs are about 37 degrees, the air that you blow out. When you blow out, all of the remaining ambient air- Like a air, whistle. When, when you, you blow, blow out like a, like a whistle, all the remaining ambient air in the room kind of gets sucked into the little vortex and, and comes out in a stream, it cools off the air from your lungs, and also the air in your lungs is about 98% uh, humidity. The air around you is probably about 50 or 60% humidity on any given day, and uh, that causes the air to actually evaporate. You get evaporative cooling in the air coming from your lungs. So, it, so you're blowing the cooler air. Yeah, you're blow blowing no. the cooler air onto your finger, and that's what actually feels cooler. And right. it's cooling all the air from your breath because evaporative cooling. Whereas if you open your mouth wide and breathe out slowly, you're kind of creating a humid, hot environment. Yeah. Here's it's also it's what an airplane wing does. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so basically, uh, there's another part of this story. The air that comes out of your lungs when you blow like a whistle doesn't necessarily feel cool all the time. It's all about context. If you were in a sauna uh, that had a higher humidity or sauna. a sauna that had a sauna. higher humidity than uh, the air in your in your lungs, which is 98 uh, you know percent humidity. So if you were in a room that had 100 percent humidity, you wouldn't get any evaporative cooling. And if you're in a sauna or a sauna uh, that has um, you know, the ambient temperature of the air is a lot hotter than what's inside your body. If you actually blow on the back of your hand, it feels like fire. You're blowing the hot ambient air. Yeah, you're blowing the hot ambient air on, and there's no evaporative cooling because there's nowhere for the moisture to go uh, because the air around you is so humid as well. So don't blow in a sauna. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm Dave Noel. And I'm Rod Weatherby. And you're watching Nutshell.tv.